come forward, please state your name, county residence, and you'll have three minutes to speak. <clears throat> um, I have one speaker on, and that's Andrew. Oh. Good morning. Hey guys, I, I, welcome, Mike. Congratulations. I, I haven't seen you since then. So uh, my name's Andra, uh, Manatee County activist. Um, so I've got a few things I want to talk about. It's the normal stuff. My phones. I'd like the phones back on. When we all had the phones turned back on before, it was for more uh, participation from the residents. I can say that uh, it looks like we need more participation from the residents uh, for the county. So I think that at this point, going into 2024 elections, that it would be appropriate to turn the phones back on, find a some kind of system limiting the phones, but making them accessible to people like me uh, that are going to be working and going to be on a campaign trail at some point, you know, around the country. So um, I really like to participate in my own personal um, uh, community as well. And then, of course, I noticed our drinks are not allowed into the dais anymore. So I'd like some rules on that, too, because I think I'm an adult here. And, and if I need to sign something, I'll pay for the cleaning fee. But I bring water. I bring water. I doubt it's going to hurt the floors that much, but I'm an adult, and I'd like to have some type of capped drinking option in here, uh, especially since we're here for hours. Um, the main issue I have that I'd like to bring here, and it might be something you guys can all help me with, it might not be. So I've just learned that we are now having our, our investigators for our children, our Department of Children and Family Services, which is a near and dear cause to my heart. And I'm hearing it's going away from our sheriffs and going into the department. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do with that here in the state of Florida, but, like, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what bureaucrat, what politician up in, in, in Florida thought this was a good idea. But we have inspectors. These, these people are overworked and underpaid, first and foremost. That's the first problem right there. The second problem is, is because of that, they're now falsifying documents. So over the last three months, we have uh, Kristen Martinez. This is all from Florida. April Hawk and Trevor McKenzie, all in the department, investigators, investigators with our Department of Children Family, falsifying documents and being arrested. And those are the ones that they found. So that had to have been pretty egregious for those. Who's going to be doing the checks and balances for our kids? These are our children here in the state of Florida. I hope this, this county, you know, supports it being at the sheriff. The sheriff's department are our law enforcement. They are the only ones that should be investigating any type of crime in the state of Florida. That's my two cents. Don't spend it all at one day and one space. Take care. Thank you very much, ma'am. I would like to call for public comment, and after that, Commissioner Cruz is on the board. I'll let her speak. I know what you're going to say. Hi, Andrew Griffin, Manatee County activist. So there's a couple things that I'm thinking out here. You know, I have to agree with Van Austinbridge, um, Commissioner Van Austinbridge. We need to have this, we worked very hard to design this county to meet the majority of the people here in this county. And we, including myself, have fought, and I know this has nothing to do with the school district, you know, book, you know, schools access, children's access to books and stuff like that. So this is a very uh, important, I'm not a, a supporter of libraries. I think they're a dying breed. So I'm trying to remove that bias out of here and be reasonable. And I just think that this is a voluntary um, advisory board. If it needs to be, uh, we need the people that represent this community, not just who is available. And I have to agree with that. We're working too hard to try to correct this ship, to just start throwing people in there and not taking our time to do it right. And so that's just going to be my comments. You know the routine. <laughs> For the record, Glenn Giblin in Manatee County, um, other side of the fence, Andrea. I couldn't disagree with this with this resolution, this uh, motion more. Here's the problem that we have: advisory boards. First of all, they don't have any teeth, right? They can come to you and say we want this, and you could eighty-six it. So I don't know what the big threat is here. I thought we're a democracy, 
And when you get an applicant, you're mad because not, pe not enough people are running for that position? I'm confused. You want to, like, steer the boat to what you want to mold. You have an outstanding employee who just said, I am happy with the applicants. So you're going to take her opinion and throw it to the side because apparently she has no value to this board. She can't even recommend the people that she's okay with. That's a slap in